Hi guys, welcome to my February empties. Uh, I have a lot. Um, let me show you. My basket is like literally overflowing. Um, I'm gonna go through some baby stuff and then we'll move on to like body care and then make up towards the end. Uh, the first thing for baby stuff is this triple paste medicated ointment for diaper rash. Uh, I had said before, my son is a year and a half old and he has very sensitive skin, uh, very prone to rashes and yeah, this stuff is amazing. Uh, I highly, highly recommend it. This is the biggest jar I think that they sell. This is the 10 ounce. I think I got this from Target. Uh, I would, I already repurchased, so definite, definitely recommend. The next baby thing is an Aquaphor Healing Ointment Baby Advanced Therapy Skin Protectant. Uh, I use this for diaper rashes as well as just like all over the body. This thing is like cleaned out. Uh, I use it all over his body, very moisturizing. I use it also on my elbows or my knees and stuff if I'm having really rough patches there so or dry patches. Uh, I like this stuff, again, already repurchased. One more baby item. This is the Baby Healing Ointment Skin Protectant by Up and Up. This is the Target brand. It's supposed to be, uh, I would say, like a comparable item to the Aqua for one. No, it's not comparable. I do not recommend this. Um, definitely do not recommend this. The formula of this thing was very liquidy, so you pump it out or you squeeze it out and then automatically transforms from gel to a liquid. Um, no, I, I would spend a little bit more money and get the Aquaphor. I did not repurchase. I will not repurchase. I do not recommend. I think that is all for baby stuff. Uh, let's talk about body care or let, let's do the home. I have maybe two home items uh i have this candle macadamia professional by macadamia professional scented candle uh this thing smelled so freaking good it's nothing left it smells amazing this was a gift um with a purchase from alta i purchased some macadamia items like the macadamia lines um hair care line and this was a gift with that purchase. The other home item is another wallflower. I had this, had one of these in my previous uh, empties in January empties. This is by Bath and Body Works. Um, I can't remember what scent this was, so went through another one of these. Okay, now let's talk about body care, skin care, personal care. Um, this is the Up and Up 3% Hydrogen Peroxide Contact Lens Cleaner, cleaning, disinfecting. Uh, this is supposed to be a dupe or comparable to, what is it called? Um, God, I can't even remember. I use it all the time. Uh, I had it in my previous empties. Uh, I did not like this so much. The So it comes with the little comes with one of these the same thing as I think it was clear care so it comes with one of these kind of like the clear care does but um, with the you're supposed to leave your contacts in here overnight or at least six hours otherwise they sting I never had an issue with the clear care doing that but with this I did like sometimes I'll put my contacts in and they sting so bad like I can barely open my eyes I'm not gonna repurchase. I think I bought the two, the pack of two. So I went through one, I'm halfway through the other one now. I, after this, I'm just gonna spend the money and get the, like the clear care stuff. Um, let's do shower. Uh, <laughs> this is old, you guys. I totally forgot that I had this thing. This is Bath & Body Works Gardenia Bubble Bath. Uh, I totally forgot that I had this thing and I was cleaning my um, counters in the bathroom, uh, not counters, my cabinets in the bathroom and this was like all the way at the end. There wasn't a whole lot left. I think there was like this much left. So two baths and it was empty. I love the smell of gardenias. Probably one of my favorite scents, like floral scents. So I really like that one. I think they discontinued the gardenia scent. Um, 
Next, I have a Snow Angel body lotion by Philosophy. This thing was um, like a, I got it, my husband got it for me Christmas time, not this year, the year before. It came with the shower gel. The shower gel is long gone, the body lotion. I just finished it not that long ago. It smells absolutely amazing. It's very moisturizing. I, I don't use a lot of like philosophy body items, but this I would get again next Christmas. I think it's only a seasonal thing. Um, I have a little sample of Dove uh, shower gel and this is um, pear and aloe. This smelled really good, very moisturizing. I love the formula of their shower gel. Um, I think this came in a Walmart box. Uh, I have a lot of shower gels, so I'm not gonna repurchase that anytime soon. Um, this was in my 365 days of samples. I finished it this past, last, um, last, you know, <laughs> two, a week ago, I would, almost two weeks ago. This is the Avino Baby Daily Moisture Lotion. I used this on myself. I didn't use it on my son. I, he has very sensitive skin. I like it. Um, I would repurchase it, but I currently have a lot of like body lotions, and so I'm not gonna purchase anytime soon. Um, Let's see, I went through a simple uh, cleansing facial wipes. They're okay, I don't usually use these on my face or my eyes or anything, I use them to remove swatches. So I will not repurchase because um, baby wipes like from Walmart um, clean swatches pretty well. These are kind of expensive. I think this also came in a Walmart box. Uh, okay, <laughs> I saved the wrapper for a fizz ball. This is from Bath and Body Works as well, and this is warm vanilla sugar. This smelled really good. Uh, warm vanilla is like one of their scents, so they do sell the shower gel of that. Um, I did go through a sample size of the Shea Moisture Coconut Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, last month is empties. I had the shampoo, like the curly hair shampoo, and now I have the smoothie. I really, really, really like this. I did not like the shampoo. This I would consider purchasing like the full size and use it. Um, I use it in combination of my Diva Curl Shower, like um, hair gel, sorry. So I don't need a lot from this. This little packet I think lasted me about five or six uses, and I have a lot of hair. Um, I, I would repurchase or I would purchase the full price uh, let's see I have a Tatcha pure one-step Camille Camellia cleansing oil uh, I use this to take off my face makeup usually I use it when my face is dry still so all my makeup is on I pump one or two pumps on my hands and rub it all over really good removing makeup but I still go after this I do a double cleanse so after I use this I use like a, my Clarisonic with a cleanser the full price of this is expensive um, I did I didn't repurchase I purchased a Sephora cleansing oil um, it's not quite as good but it's a whole lot cheaper so I don't know. I might buy this again after I finish the Sephora one because I did really like it. You don't need a lot. It's very, it's a lot more cleansing than the Sephora one and the formula feels more luxurious, more thick. The Sephora ones feel a little bit more watery so I might repurchase that again. Um, face mask, I did use this Peter Thomas Roth Irish More Mud Purifying Black Mask. This is a really tiny guy, um, 15 mils. This was like seven uses. I, every time I use it, I'm like, okay, I think I'm done. No, no, this was like seven uses. I liked it. Um, I do have a bigger size of this, like the, not the biggest, like the medium size. So I'm excited to use that again. Um, another face mask that I did use is the Soae um, Brightening Collagen Essence Mask. I don't know about face masks, uh, like sheet masks like this. I'm gonna stop buying them or my mother-in-law got me a few for Christmas and the one thing that really bothers me with these is like it starts dripping all the way down my neck and it makes me itch like, ah, uh, tickles. Um, I don't see a whole lot of difference with my skin after using these. So I think I would rather, rather spend the money towards like real skincare um, or masks like this guy. 
that would be a better choice for me. Mm, I do have quite a few still to go through, but I don't think I'm gonna repurchase anymore. Okay, Flash Patch Eye Revive Patchology 5 Minute Eye Patches. Um, these were like kind of that jelly thing and they have all the stuff on them, like the serum. Uh, I did put this in the fridge before using it and then I put it under my eyes. It kept sliding down, it's so frustrating. Um, the day that I used it was the day that I was really exhausted and I had really bad um, circles under my eyes. I don't know that it brightened, it just felt really nice and refreshing before makeup. Uh, I think this is the last pair I have. I have a um, different brand that I want to try, but from this brand, this is the last pair. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase this brand again though. Okay, again, if you watched my 365 days of samples, this thing I'm obsessed with. I am really gonna order the full size. This is Jack Black Supreme Cream Triple Cushion Shave Lather. This thing made my legs so silky soft. Um, I, I will have my 365 days of samples video link down below. Check it out. Okay, more skincare. I probably would be the only one to put this in here, but I'm gonna put it. And this is like the Venus Razor Refill. Um, those things are so freaking expensive, man. Like, jeez, why? Uh, this is the three blade one. I don't like it. I prefer the four or five blade. Um, I'm not gonna repurchase that one. I think the rest is all makeup. Oh no, I have some eye creams in here. Um, I have the CeraVe eye repair cream. I have like the full size and a little baby sample size. Um, it's good. I don't see a whole lot of difference. Uh, I'm using something completely different now and after I go through what I'm using now, I think I'm gonna order the Paula's Choice one. My sister keeps telling me they're the best, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give that one a shot. Uh, I think that is it for skincare um, and body care. The rest is all makeup. Uh, the a cover girl healthy elixir little sample things. There were such little product in here. I used all three for one application. I mixed them all together and it barely covered my face. Um, it's not a foundation that I want to purchase anytime soon. I have like 17, 18 foundations, so I'm not going to purchase this. It wasn't that impressive to me. Uh, I did go through these kind of, these gave up, the Ardell Wispies, Glamour Wispies. I think I pro probably got four or five uses out of this. I wanted to save the lashes and show you how bad of a shape they were in, but I had them on the bathroom counter and my husband thought they were a spider, so I had to throw them out. Um, but yeah, I have backups of this. I like them, but today I'm wearing BH Cosmetics one, and I think I like those a lot better. So. I'll have my BH Cosmetics haul link down below if it's already up. If not, keep an eye out on that. It's a large haul. Okay, I went through a whole tube of the Grande Lash MD um, Lash Enhancing Serum. This is what it looks like. I love this thing. I use it every single night. Um, it says last three months, and yes, I believe it. I'm like, there's a lot of liquid in here still, so I'm gonna continue using it, and then I noticed no difference at all in my lashes. Then I started a new tube, and like within a week, my lashes were much better. So yes, stick to the three month rule. I was being cheap. This thing is expensive. It's $65, and I bought it straight from uh, Grande website, not from Sephora or anywhere else. Um, they had 15% off or 10% off, so it was a little bit cheaper than buying it from Sephora. I did finish a L'Oreal Voluminous Base Primer, like eyeshadow, um, eyelash primer. I really, really like this. I like it a lot better than the Grande Primer that I tried. That was in my declutter video. I'll have that link down below as well. This is, I, I 
placed an order a couple days ago to at Ulta. I ordered three of these. They were buy two, get one free. I ordered three. This thing is amazing. Makes my lashes look so full and like voluminous. <laughs> uh, I did go through a Kiko Milano Into the Dark mascara. I did like it, but towards the end it started drying out and flaky. Um, looks like there's a little bit of product left, but it's not performing as well as it did when I first opened it. It's quite a bit of makeup to go through. I did finally finish this guy, and this is the Maybelline Age Rewind in Neutralizer. I had taken out that puffy part, it was driving me crazy. Um, I had this in a project pan, tw um, 12 pans of Christmas, and I never finished it. I kept working on it. I did not like it under my eyes, but I did like it to highlight like this area here in the center of my face. It worked amazing for that. I might consider repurchasing just for that reason, but I do have quite a few concealers. So I'm holding off, but I highly recommend. Uh, I did finally finish the Start Smolder Eyes in color taupe. Um, every time I would use it, it would just kind of crumble up. It's very dried, so it's gotta go. I did finish this Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Foundation. This is also in my 4x420. I'll have that video linked down below as well. Finally finished this guy. Um, I did not like it. I used to be, this used to be my found, like my go-to foundation, I would say in 2010. Um, but using it again, or I don't know, some people said that it's a new formula. It did not work for my skin. Um, kind of felt cakey. Um, I didn't like it. Used to like it a lot. It used to be the only foundation I would buy. I had repurchased this thing multiple times, but I don't think I'll repurchase again. I, again, I have a lot of foundations and I just hauled a new foundation. So um, check out my haul video if you're interested. Uh, this guy, Julep Bizu, I love this thing. I love this lip color. Uh, this is the little guy. This is also in my 4x420. I love it. I kind of was like sad and happy when I finished it. Sad because I loved the color. I love the formula. It's very moussey. Um, it's matte finish, but it's very comfortable on the lips. Um, you have to reapply. It's not like an all day kind of thing, but I loved it. It was so comfortable. I have three other um, lipstick from the line that I wanna try. I haven't tried them yet, so I might consider repurchasing that. I finally finished this little guy, Tony Moly Delight, um, like a number two, it's a tint. Um, I'm not gonna repurchase this. It is, yeah, I'm not gonna repurchase this. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of product left, but when I tried to put it on my lips, it kept kind of separating and looking very streaky and then it would ball like on the corners of my lips and then kind of did not look good. Finally finished my Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Pencil and this is in the color zero. This is done. I cannot sharpen that anymore. I did finish MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. I did not like this. Definitely no extreme black here. I mean, no false lashes here. It, it did absolutely nothing to my lashes. But I used it, got about three or four weeks use out of that. Uh, I did finish my tattoo liner by Kat Von D in Trooper. This, this guy is gone. It's um, not as black anymore. You have to like really push and here like this is five or six like times going over um i like this thing i'm currently using uh nyx epic line and i would say it's very similar yeah i don't know i don't know that i would repurchase that it wasn't my favorite um Especially for the price, $20. I'm not good at doing a wing liner and I think I would rather use a, like a pot, what is it, like a smudge pot. What are they called? Like, you know, like the black liner in a pot. Anyways, so that's it for makeup. I do have two little perfumes. 
I have the Aqua di Gioia. This is also in my 365 days of samples. I did add an additional like perfume to that. I love this thing. This is the second month that I have a sample empty of this. I love it. I really want to repurchase the full size or purchase the full size. And this is something that I am actually decluttering. It's not an empty. Uh, this is clean, reserve, warm cotton. I hate this thing. I smell like laundry and not good laundry. No. And the smell was so strong. I felt like it was giving me a headache. Um, I'm just gonna, either I'm gonna toss this out or I'm gonna start using it like as a linen spray because it smells like laundry. I mean, it says cotton. Um, I did not like it at all. That's it for my empties. Uh, it's quite a long video. Um, I will have the total listed here on the side. It was, I think it was close to $300. I'll have the actual amount right here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in checking out any of the other videos that I mentioned, check the description box down below or the cards linked above. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!